Okay, guys. So, welcome to another interview series. I'm probably going to be doing this every Friday, hopefully, in Friday Korea time. And so today, uh, we have another friend of Lost Boy. So, today is the time of talking about not the basic stuff. We're going to learn about his, his uh, style of play. And then we're going to see some of his builds that he utilizes. And then we're going to go see some... Uh, the Helmut, like, the, like talk, talk about some Helmut content and what he does to uh, make sure that he does sufficient enough DPS to carry the team, hopefully. Uh, but those are the times that we're going to have, right, guys? We haven't even said his name yet. So we're going to call him a verb, Revolver, okay? Well, I started the last year, I remember when I was in the game for the first time. So he started the game, he started playing this game last year during Loan Mini. You know, it's about the same time as that's what I said. He made a gunslinger because of the first gen legendary avatar. And I'm pretty sure why you guys like that first gen legendary avatar, right? You guys have probably seen it. Mm. So uh, the question of why would you, you know, what is the recommendation of a gunslinger class itself? And obviously the same reason as he said for me, is the character is very pretty. That's what I said. That's why I said that as well. She's very sexy too, right? With the little clothes and everything. To me, to me as well. The same reason. And also, being more of a technical standpoint, if you use the gunsling on any raid, uh, she's a free positional DPS, which is hit master class. So any raid you go, you're free to position, and then you're okay to DPS in the very beginning when you're not used to the patterns itself. Uh, additional point that he wants to recommend was since it's a stand cl stance class, as long as you get used to that triple stance, it's a high. F he said it would be a, a high, like an average high floor class. Is because if you just get used to it, it's kind of hard to mess up. And obviously, if you go to the high ceiling, it'd be much different perspective. But as long as you get used to three stances, it's not as it's not as hard to keep that the the floor up for the requirement of DPS that you need uh, to run the raid. That's his character. And then look at that. Look at this title, guys. So this title is Deathless Hell Clown. Not, not, not that many players in Korea actually have this. So again, just like just like last week, uh, we're going to go over the play styles that he does and his thought process and, and like the reason why he chose uh, p uh, specific skills for his play style. So let's go over it with the handgun skills first. Nice. 예전에는 건설 이제 단심을 썼는데 음. 이제 단심이 잘안 맞다 보니까 건설한테 음. 음. 이제 연구가 돼가지고 음. 이제 저 같은 경우에는 이거 다 다른데 이제 제뭐 스타일대로 말씀을 드리면은 유탄의 음, 음, 음. 이제 아드 So you talk about spiral tracker first, right? Spiral tracker obviously this is a synergy skill. Most people put it as level four. Long time ago we used to do conviction judgment, but that conviction judgment doesn't really work anymore. So within the research that most people did and then the play style that he does, he wants to make sure that the bleed stack get always resets for that maximum damage, right? So oh, as for so as for quick step, as most of you guys know, they have the life resortion uh, tripod. So when he uh, lands the, uh, the skill itself, you know, you get that additional movement speed, additional attack speed uh, for a couple seconds. And since it's going to be good, so it's usually used as a positional skill and then hopefully for you to land it for additional synergy. So you also have equilibrium as a synergy. Some people actually don't use this, but for his case, he, uh, he's actually using equilibrium for weakness exposure, right? So for those who, so some people actually don't use this, but I asked him like, oh, what do you think you, is a good idea to use this? Is, uh, if you notice here, the party synergy itself, it lasts 12 seconds. And since it lasts the longest time, it's pretty efficient for him to use that. Additional note is equilibrium is very important. Be, uh, for example, for uh, Inferno mode, right? When you do an Inferno mode, usually, you know, they put all the synergy on, all the buffs on, everything is stacked up, right? Therefore, <clears throat> you don't, if you use your time on throwing like another handgun skill to hopefully have the synergy up, it will be like a little bit of waste of time, right? So you usually put the longest synergy one for 12, uh, 12 seconds and then just pump out every skill that you have, like, you know, the, gun, uh, the shotguns and the rifles and everything. Uh, if you don't, it'll be in like a, a little bit of a smoke situation where you just swap it again or not even have that synergy up because that 10% is pretty, pretty, is really important. <laughs> 있거든요. 근데 이거를 찍으면 이제 so this particular skill, if you have the first tripod tenacity, your game push immunity, right? So what he was trying to say is, since you guys are playing Bro Shaza, if you're not uh, experienced at the raid itself, 
there's a fall damage. Uh, there's a fall fall death for Belshazzar Gate Six. So when he was not used to the uh, the raid itself, he utilized Death Fire to have additional, you know, arsenal. It's a safe spot for him to utilize to not get knocked off the stage, right? So if you got, he's, he recommends that hey, you know, it would be really good to add the tenacity with the Death Fire if you're not used to the raid itself to practice like the super armor stuff. Uh, so he's not using it now because he is used to uh, the raid now. Talking about Dexter Shot, he uh, points out that Dexter Shot is one of the most important skill that makes a good gunslinger per or not is because this skill is used for positioning plus it also has synergy into it and it's used very often. And as you can see here, there's two options. You can put it as level four uh, or you can put it as level seven. Uh, we're talk we're talking about non-equalized content right now because we're also going to talk about his Inferno build too. Uh, we're going to talk about that a little later, but his current build that he's utilizing right now is, you know, you're not strive for DPS. So he uh, prefers to have a little bit more control, a little bit more comfortness in the mobility. So he has put it to level seven because if you put it to excellent mobility, it gives you additional three meters in dash. And then since you're using it twice, you can position very easily uh, if you're in a, a real bad situation. And while you're doing that, you can circle around and then give synergy while you're at it too. So to have that 100% synergy. And at the same time, as you can see the rune here, this is a legendary uh, quick recharge. You guys don't have this yet, but you know you use the quick, charge, the, the quick charge rune to hopefully get the faster cooldown from the skills that he don't use. Uh, I mean, uh, the, the, the skills to come back. So for Bullet Rain, this is uh, one of the main DPS skills option, the optional main DPS uh, skills in the handgun section. He has it as in a tight spot, rapid fire, and flame shot. The problem is you need to have, you need to land the full hit with this particular skill. So he put the heroic Gilwin rune uh, to make it a little go faster. So as for dual buckshot, and with a you know, tight spot, enhanced fire, and final strike. The problem is, as you say, most gunslinger's skill is uh, heavily stripped, uh, the weighted on the last hit. So you need to finish those animations quickly. So therefore, he put as a uh, heroic uh, Gilwin ring in there. Right. The sharpshooter, the next skill in line, the sharpshooter is, you know, you have in a tight spot, a uh, special bullet in Guardian's Breath. The problem is he the gunslinger hits it seven times, and if you miss even one uh, out of the seven, the DPS drops like like crazy. Uh, so since you have to land it as fast as you can, you always want to have the highest skill and rune on this particular skill because the casting time is very long, and then you always have to land you, you have to land all full hits, you know, for you to get the maximum DPS out of it. For as for a catastrophe, as you notice, this also has tenacity and cut, uh, and then he puts that cutthroat for a level seven. And, you know, since just like he explained for Deathfire, what he does is he um, put it as uh, utilizing as a safe skill, right? The tenacity skill. But with the buff as well, you know, it's got a little bit stronger. Therefore, he just put it up, uh, put it up onto level 7 uh, just for squeezing out just a little bit more damage. And also, it does a lot of stagger, a lot of burst stagger too. So it's a good overall good skill to have. Uh, so in his case, so Perfect Shot, he puts it as level two, uh, 12. But, you know, obviously, uh, as most people know, as some people put it down to, like, level 10 and put, like, Catastrophe to level 10, etc., right? But his reason of doing this is, which is a good reason, is he's been playing this, he's been playing like this for a very long time and he's used to it. So he just didn't change it. As you say, as you notice here, particular thing, perfect shot is, like, you know, you have the stable stance and kill confirmation and enhanced shot. But as for kill confirmation, if the particular boss's HP is under 50%, you do 96% more damage. So this thing, when bosses lower than 50% HP, this uh, this particular skill hits hard. Like it's, it, it hits really hard. Uh, and you know, since he's used to playing this type of skill, having uh, the perfect shot at level 12, he just left it there uh, <clears throat> just to do that. So as for focus shot, uh, this is the, the strongest skill that a gunslinger has. And obviously, since you need to land the last hit to make this uh, uh, make this particular skill, uh, you know, actually, if you if you actually miss the the last shot, or if it doesn't crit, it's super smooth. And I'm pretty sure most of you guys know it too. And as for uh, tripod, it could be like quick aim, double tap, and uh, final strike. But you know, for example, I think I was gonna ask something like this uh, on the first tripod. What a stop process is, but what he's what he's also said is, you know, you always want to put the highest level of Gale and Rune on focus shot, uh, so you can just put that. 
in a consideration. And as a for, 그 혹시 그 제가 네. 궁금한 건데, 네네네. 네, 네. 그 일투포에 재빠른이랑 네. 반양주가 있잖아요. 아. So it's a funny question because I asked him about this, right? 아. 어. Uh, so I asked him about this. He 아. said he has never used it. <웃음> 아. 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 아 이렇게 아 이렇게 움직. 아. 어. 음. But it's slow though. 어 나쁘지. <웃음> Oh, it's, oh, it's not bad. But he's used to this. Ah, there's a difference. Yeah. Oh, but I, I think it's good for me. It's good for me. Yeah, since after he tried it out, so his his feedback was, I mean, obviously there's a reason why uh, some people just don't try it is because now the meta is more of crit spec. Uh, long time ago. It used to be you used Gunslinger used to have a little bit of swiftness, right? And that means the skill cooldown rotates a little faster and the animation is a little faster. Therefore, when you use something like change of direction, the problem is it's 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 so slow, right? And it's, since he is using focus shot as if he is experiencing the raid where he knows where the raid boss is going to go, right? So uh and he's also thinking of like an important case where He's got to be very cautious on using the skill itself because focus shot does the most damage, right? You don't want to miss that. This is like a more of a, a a preference area to me because like everyone just does it differently. But this is exactly what I wanted to hear because you want to hear more gunslingers' opinions. Like, why would you use this case and this case, and they just like fight for it? But you know, you sort of hear you you want to be like very straight to the point of like, oh, I think it's slow, so I'm just gonna use this. And since I know where all the bosses are going, being it faster is a lot better because I will. Never missed the boss in the first place, so I don't need to switch my aim, right? So, that's a very uh, good argument. Oh, 이거를 만약에 이게 타자 네. 다운 좀 관련된 건데, 네. 이게 이거를 만약에 쓰면은 그냥 네. 보스 뭐 보스 뭐 어디를 박든 이게 딜 온전히 들어가거든요. 근데 이거를 만약에 끄면은 이게 특포가 그거 있잖아요. 이게 썸소리랑 관련이 있는데. 또 이렇게 이렇게 원하는 대로 가잖아요 마우스 네. 포인트 원하는 대로 가는데 이거를 키면은 하면은 이렇게 보스 쪽으로 가거든요 무조건. So he recommends to turn this off. Uh, put, uh, the the skill aim is because if you have this on, a, a, a advantage thing is when you do target down, it's actually much easier to have the steady aim applied, the steady aim tri uh, tripod applied. But however, if you turn it on, uh, if you're utilizing something like a dexterous shot, uh. He dashes towards the boss, right? And then it makes the movement janky. So as for awakenings, uh, if you're a newer gunslinger player, a high caliber bullet is really good because it doesn't have a casting time. It's just like immediately and it has a big AOE and it just lands enough damage that you was required for you to do. Uh, however, when you're used to it, uh, you can use Eye of Twilight. It's because Eye of Twilight is a, a better option that does more DPS. Uh, that's a very uh, simple uh, comparison. So, yeah, if, you, if you're not used to it, it's pretty good to have uh, you get used to high caliber first and then uh, switch it over while you get more comfortable with the class. So what I've asked was, a popular debate that I always see, even on my chat every day, is Rain of Bullet versus Shotgun Rapid Fire versus like Perfect Shot versus Catastrophe, etc. Everything, right? You know, they always talk about it. Which one do you use? Uh, it, this is better. That's better. This is better. That's better. You know, to me and personally, I always answer it as it's preference based. But I wanted to ask him, like, you know, you're using, uh, he's using Rain of Bullet, but I wanted to hear his opinion about SRF, Rain of Bullet, uh, Perfect Shot, etc. Uh, to give you guys like more of a, a reference point of how people choose uh, their particular skills. Wow, 맞아요. 그 지금도 이게 한국에서도 이분 한 Korea 이게 말이 많은데 <웃음> 어, <웃음> 사용하다 보니까 근데 이게 샷건 연사가 단점이 있는 게좀 길고 그다음에 
소, 야, 미묘하, 아, 미, 미미하게 레어블이 더 세더라고요. 그래서 음... 네, 저는 아예 레어블로 갈아타고. So SRF, uh, the biggest thing that he doesn't like about SRF is I'm pretty sure most of you guys feel it as well, and even myself is it's slow. As in, it just <laughs> it takes hell a long time to cast this, and the only way to cancel it is your space bar. Uh, and as, but as for rain a bullet, you can just use it. You can move around, and then you can cut it anytime you want if you're in a really bad situation. Uh, so before, when Rain of Bullet got buffed, uh, everyone wanted to try out that tripod. Back then, it was 5,000 gold per each, as he said. Yeah, it was a pretty expensive time because when people were asking me, like, how come I don't have it? It's because I can't afford it. I and mean, I don't want to use the, uh, a lot of gold for that, right? So with that, he couldn't try it out. But when he, after he has it, as for DPS, this, this is a debate that always happened on the Korean forums too. As in, like, which is better? Which do you use? Like, etc. Uh, so I'm going to get very aggressive with it. But uh, on a long standpoint, shotgun rapid fire... And rain a bullet there do about the same damage considering rain a bullet it does a little more uh if it has the full animation as in a full hit so he used shotgun rapid fire before but he switched to rain a bullet because he got used to it and then he, um yeah it's just, he just got used to it with the tripods and the the runes and everything and he's used you uh, he's utilizing that particular skill accordingly because the shotgun rapid fire is the biggest reason uh it's too slow uh and it's only cancelable by a uh, space bar so again, I also asked them about you know the rifle skills like catastrophe versus like perfect shot like how do how do most people take it, and you know the bullet the same thing as like bullet rain versus uh, uh you know uh, shotgun rapid fire etc. Catastrophe just does more damage. Uh, it already has been put in as a standpoint, but the reason why he has perfect shot again, he prefers smoother gameplay and less stress gameplay on non equalized content as in like just a regular content because regular content you don't lose you don't reset the raid because of lack of dps in this game the requirement for dps is actually a lot lower than you think in every single raid that we have this is including like a con hard like you know when you guys do the bro shaza if you guys are worried about dps those are the things that you should not worry about, uh, period. If you just have a good uptime and everything, just land everything. Uh, the set bar requirement is much slower. So in his case, you know, if if the DPS requirement is not going to be that high, you know, I'm just going to be be very comfortable, very comfortable with the skills. I want to land the skills properly, and I, want, I don't want any stress. For example, like, if you want to min-max your DPS, obviously you want to level up Catastrophe to the max and then level down uh, Perfect Shot because that'll be much easier for you. Uh, 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 that would be getting much more numbers for you, but for uh, something like you get stressed out about SRF and all that stuff, uh, you would put it to some other skills accordingly, right? So these are the stuff that I wanted to talk about because he prefers like a preference thing because you don't need to min-max squeeze it out. But when we talk about equalized content, maybe uh, he does have a, a different uh, set of stuff, uh, set of skills. Right, so so he's going to show an example of like the mastering seven skills, right? All the utility related skills are four. So as in, uh, so anything that is required within the handgun skill is bare minimum. He just took all that out, stripped all that out, and then just put it on the skill level on the requirement, uh, the higher level requirements to look at that. Like, because you guys know this term called like a seven M kind of stuff, right? Seven M means you mastered seven skills. So. Uh, this would be like an uh, uh, this would be like an example how it would look like, but obviously the levels would be a little lower because uh, you guys have a little less skill points. Uh, but you know, set what g generically what seven enemy is you can't have none of the skill at level th uh, seven. So all almost all of them at level four, even your death buyers at level one. So you don't even have the tenacity, and then you just invest all those skill points on the rifles and the uh, shotguns. 그리고 혹시 네. 막더 빼야 된다면은 예를 들면 네. 그 생업 생업 없는 거에 대해서 어떻게 생각하냐 나오긴 하는데 생업이요? 네. <웃음> He's laughing. <laughs> no life absorb. <웃음> 어 차라리 저는 그러면 <웃음> 이거, 네. 이걸 이걸 빼는 게 나을 것 같은데요 비 보정에서. 카운터요? 어. 네. 그러니까 이게 이걸 안 찍는다고. 카운터가 안 되는 건 아니라. 어, 그렇죠. 네. 근데 바로 앞에 써야 되니까. 아, 그렇죠, 그렇죠. 음. He said he would take the counter off. 소설들도 있는데 뭐. <웃음> 그러니까, yeah, there are sorts that have no counter. 근데 최후의 만찬도 카운터인데. 응. Last request counter. <웃음> 뭐 자신 있으면은, 아, 근데 저 생일 생업... 
근데 이게 시장 시간 길다 보니까 어, 전 생업 빼고 음, 못할 것 같아요. c r u e 네, 차라리 이, 어, 퍼샷을 아예 7로 내리던가. 음, maybe level 7 네, perfect shot. 음. To invest more. level 7 perfect shot. 레어블을 좀 음. 이거 이것도 1렙 내리던지 해 가지고 스포가 음. 좀 모자라면 음. 네. or 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 turn down, you know, rain a bullet. But the good point is uh this The quick shot, the quick step itself is so important. The amount of movement speed you require is 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 very very important because we don't have uh, the meta is no swiftness these days as for Korea. Uh, so you're very slow. Okay. 그러면은 네. 특성. So now let's go over to the topic of talking about combat stats and engravings. And since engravings, there are a lot of choices uh, and a lot of uh, builds accordingly. And then we can go back and forth on choices of skills uh, on that as well because. In uh, Gunslinger itself, everything changes based on what you have uh, and what kind of builds you have as well. And we're also going to show you guys some uh, recommended builds that he would think and also recommended stuff uh, at the same time as well. So, but you just need to go through some of the basics first so that we can talk about the detailed stuff, advanced stuff later uh, after giving you guys all, all the options. Shotgun is better than 100% than 100% than 100% than 100% than 100% than 100% 네. 왜냐면 샷건이 세져가지고 샷건이 크리가 잘 뜨면 이제 세기 네. 때문에 음, 음, 음. 보통은 이제 샷건 시적을 거의 100%로 딱 맞추는 세팅을 하는데 치명한 음. 1,400에 한 900이나. So talking about the combat stats a little bit, so is that he's that he he also needs to rebuild it again. Uh, but the me, the meta point is the since the shotguns uh got you know a little bit buffed and. Crit difference between shotgun and rifle it got a little closer. Before it used to be worse because the engraving. Uh, so the current meta of your setting up is about at least uh, getting as close as 100% crit rate on the shotgun. So therefore, the, the, the majority of the people go like 1400 and 900. And the ratio would that be something like an earring on... Like an earring and a necklace on spec, and then rest on crit, right? And that would that will yield you about like fourteen hundred ish crit rate. And when you do that, um, so therefore, if you match it up to hundred percent crit rate on shotgun, obviously, uh, the crit rate for rifle is going to be like eighty or uh, eighty or seventy ish. I think it's about eighty ish, uh, and that's very important because if you don't crit with a gunslinger, your DPS drops so much. Uh, and at the same time, he has also mentioned if you're playing on a static, obviously the static is uh, set with the members and the party. And if you have a lot of crit synergy, you can invest more into spec. So you can have like a half-half build and uh, have your teammate put into that lack of crit to increase more damage on rifles. So what he uses is he uses the Grudge Crystal, Hitmaster, King Blood, Adrenaline 3, and then Peacemaker 1. Uh, PM1 로 가서 이렇게 하냐? 아니면은 뭐나 구치도 깎았는데 뭐 PM1 로 가야 되냐? 이런 말이 되게 많거든요. 유물 단계로 일단 말 유물 단계부터 말씀을 드리면은 아, 팀의 사업을 챙길 수가 있으니까 네네네. 그래서 oh. 만약에 구칠 돌이신 분들은 퍼샷을 빼고 샤전을 So chat, uh, so the comparison between uh, PM1 and PM3 uh, is for what he says is as for the engraving choices with the uh, the combat sets etc with the skill base set that you have you know the 3 3 3 3 3 2 uh, so 2 1 you know most of you guys have this already so journal level 2 and then peacemaker level 1 so that particular build uh, seems to be the highest uh, in the NA circumstances because NA the best build that you can have in NA as a gunslinger is this particular build, and you need a 9-7 stone for it, which is level 3 adrenaline and then level 1 peacemaker. And uh, uh, as far as I know, some of you guys on my chat have a 9-7 stone. It's really exciting stuff, right? So right now, this hit, this particular build is the highest uh, ceiling for NA gunslingers. So And as for skill choices, they take out the SRF because it's level one peacemaker, right? SRF, and then uh, they add in the rain of bullet, and then you have the choices of catastrophe and perfect shot, etc. Uh, and also at the same time, peacemaker one, and you have adrenaline two. That's like the five five threes that you have is the next in line, and then the one after I kind of asked about the uh, peacemaker level three. The peacemaker level three, 
uh, with like a, a, a particular build and then you have, let's say, like a higher crit or something to cover the lack of crit, that one's, I guess it would be next in line. So he also wanted to uh, point out again is when we go Peacemaker level 3, you would take out Rain of Bullet and put on Shotgun Rapid Fire because Shotgun Rapid Fire, obviously, a Peacemaker level 3 gives you a lot of damage on that shotgun skill. So handgun seems to be uh, going down a little bit on importance. Therefore, you kind of swap, you, you swap it out. Yeah, but regularly, if you have uh, the Relic set, the 4 threes, 2 and a 1, uh, with the Rain of Bullet seems to be a better a choice for a little bit of higher ceiling with the best in comfort because, as he said before, Rain of Bullet, you can cancel it out anytime. Shotgun Rapid Fire, you have to use Space Bar to cancel it, and, it's, and it casts uh, very slow. But if you want that min-maxing, as if uh, that's the, the, the true min-maxing that you can have for NA. What he wanted to point out is, you know, Gunslinger is not like a set... Like, he doesn't have, like, a set combo, like, a set pattern or anything. A great Gunslinger player, uh, they make sure the main four DPS skills, right? The main four DPS skills, guys. The sh Sharpshooter, Dual Buckshot, Focus Fire, and... and uh, Focus Fire, and... Uh, what do you call it? What is the other one? Sorry. Target Down. The four skills must be in rotation the whole time. And within that rotation, it needs to have the crit synergy, right? Uh, and within the empty frames, you add in more skills in, in between. So uh, don't be set scripted as if, oh, you have to throw Spire Tracker and Quick Step. Like you can't be uh, like linear like that, right? You have to make sure to based on the boss's patterns. Oh, if he's going to dash away, you chase with Dexter's Shot, right? And then you swap to whatever the main skill you need. If let's say the sharpshooter comes cool, uh, back cooldown, because the more time that you spend off cooldown, that's how much DPS you're losing uh, compared to other people. So since putting in the uh, crit synergy is very important, that's number one priority, and rotating the main four DPS skills, that's a, that's another that's the next priority, and you also have to make sure to land the last hit on every single skill too. So that's why the difficulty increases if you want to do really well, but the actual difficulty is much lower if you just play as it is. As in, you know, uh, you can't tell if you're doing awesome uh, because it's it's the skills are easy to land and then if it just crits, it crits. But if you want to min-max it, you want to play really well, you want to make sure that, you know, you squeeze in as much DPS as you can, those are the important uh, factors that you need to think about when you're playing this class. So now the next topic, what you guys would like to hear about is Inferno mode. So if you guys are interested in Inferno mode, uh, let's go over some of the builds that he has and the thought process that he had so that uh, you guys can take a good reference on what to bring uh, when you guys are getting ready for Inferno content. Because, you know, Inferno content, you know, it's up to there for Vicus. And one day uh, you guys might have Hell Clown, right? Before that, uh, maybe you want to might want to practice uh, Inferno mode if you guys are you know those of you guys are interested in because Gunslinger is definitely a very fun class uh, to play Inferno mode. 이런이라도 좋으니까 그렇게 만들었을 네 저도 좋을 것 같아요. 아래 네. So yeah, I, I mean the additional thing that we talked about was you know Inferno Inferno mode content like. Inferno mode is really good and people play it because of like, you know, difficulty and stuff, right? But however, the problem is, obviously the problem is, you know, uh, most of the people around them doesn't want to play and then it's really hard to get a pl uh, eight men going for like Inferno mode. And the biggest reason is, you know, there's, there's no reason to do it other than getting a title or like, you know, like a trophy, that kind of stuff. There's no real big reason for the difficulty and the spending the money that you spend on, like as in for battle items and you spend a lot of time in general. Uh, so... Like, he has, like, a, a pretty similar thought process uh, compared to me, too. As in, like, I mean, maybe, <clears throat> like, even even if the battle item is is a little bit, you know, relieved a little bit for just Inferno mode, it'd be pretty nice. I mean, that's that's just my feedback, though. Because Inferno mode is so fun, but it just costs so much for so, uh, like, a game. Um, so, if there's something like Inferno, Inferno mode exclusive battle items, it'll be, like, so much better. Like, mo mo more people will be uh, down to play. Uh, and try to like get better at it. 헤레선은 yeah. 저 유티라이 다 빼고 그 시렘 사용하고 또 헤레선 얘기해줘 헤레선인데 적을 저는 1500에 700 가져가고 있는데 만약에 어, 팀에 치적 시더지가 상시 10%씩 들어오면 저는 
만약에 한명 있으면 이걸 100씩 내리거든요. 음. 아예 200을 뭐 아니면 그냥 이렇게 아예. So for so we're going to go over his uh, balance, you know, the equalized content, the infernal mode content. This is what this is a section that we wanted to talk about. Chat is, uh, you know, he he did all three of them and. Uh, As for combat stats, as he said, he was 1500 and then rest into spec, right? And he minuses it by 100 and then put it up to spec. Uh, depend on how many crit synergies he has in his team. So, for example, if he has one, he puts down 100 on crit and put it over to spec. And then also, if he has like two, you know, he put it up to like half and half. Mm, but if it's, if it's Glavier, it's different. Because uh, Glavier is uh, up times a little bit, a lot different. It's not consistent. True, true. 무조건 상지 치적이 있을 때만 치적을 빼시는 게 좋고 창술이 이게 가동률이 안 좋다 보니까. 맞아요. He also talked about in general, uh, for his skill build, he has taken off every single utility uh skill. This this is the minimum utility skill uh for. Gunslinger, so it doesn't even have summer show shot for attack speed, right? So he has minimum crit synergy uh, in the in the crit uh, in the counter, and then you have crit synergy here, and then you have crit synergy, no uh, mobility at all, and then you have that quick step, and then the same rune case here. You have you know uh, the bleed rune here, and then you have the Gilwin for blue, and then you also have the quick uh, quick recharge, and again as well. I Pajadel Pego, Leoburi, and the Hereso Leoburi, and the Sakon. 둘다 챙겨가지고. So for Inferno mode, uh, as you guys notice, he took away Perfect Shot, right? And the reason why is because Perfect Shot is only effective after 50% of the HP is gone. So since that was, it seems to be not more of a, a best case for it. Instead of, uh, it was better off doing consistent damage overall. So most people take away like Perfect Shot and they they add a Shotgun Rapid Fire on it. And also have Rain of Bullet on it. For just maximize all DPS skills, when you know you see, you guys notice see you, uh, you have the catastrophe at level ten as well, and having level twelve on all the main skills, and adding some gale rune runes on uh, top of that, right? And and you notice the since shock, shock and rapid fire is the slowest, he added the legendary gale rune rune there, and then everything else he just adds uh, accordingly. Uh, and he has been saying that is because you know shock and rapid fire is a good choice for inferno mode because you have to go level three peacemaker as you see over here. Um, So those are the choices that he usually go for. 네. 투포 약간 뭐 딱히 바뀐 게 있나요? 투포는 동일할 거예요. 음, they're all the same tripods. We wanted to point out. So as for this particular tripod, he's using the uh, the first one. The eternal calamity is pretty hard to land. Yeah, eternal calamity is actually pretty hard to land, if uh, because uh, you have to have all the ticks in, in there to. Yeah, yeah, you have to land all the ticks in order for it to do more damage. And if the boss moves away at that time, you do less damage. So if you want to do average DPS, because average DPS, average safe DPS is very important for infernal you know, content. So uh, he he utilizes the left one because he's not very confident of landing all of the ticks for eternal calamity. And as for engraving, that's basically yeah, it's a basic, obvious engraving uh, for you know Grudge PM Hitmaster. Keen blunt and adrenaline. Add, I go. What? Top of the game is. Curry is too much. Oh, so. Ah, but I. I personally like top penalty. I 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 like t o 음. 저는 이제 뭐 저바 패널티도 싫기도 하고 그 다음에. So the question that I asked about engraving was, you know, what about curse doll? I mean, most of you guys ask like curse doll and stuff, right? Uh, the curse doll placement would be either hitmaster or curse doll. And what he explained was, if you go curse doll, the awakening damage is different between either like five mil to. Mm. So it's about like five to ten million uh, uh, damage difference on just one uh, awakening, right? But you know, uh, if he doesn't like the penalty for cursed doll, so since hitmaster does the same thing, the same uh, damage increased, uh, and uh, it covers because if you go cursed doll and adrenaline together, its efficiency kind of drops a little bit. So he just goes to hitmaster to make sure he can cover the DPS up by landing more skills, uh, by just you know instead of relying on just one awakening damage that just comes back in four minutes. 
어, 네네, 다, 아, 당연하죠. 네, 들었어요. 어, <웃음> 왜, 이게, 